R. Ask Reddit, asks, Redditors who have been clinically dead, what did you experience in death, if anything? I coded after surgery. I remember being able to see and hear everything and understand what was happening. But I couldn't physically feel anything. It was deeply unsettling. My wife and I discussed this at length. Four years ago, she died twice in three months. Needing full resuscitation both times. Both were lengthy rescues, one resuscitation was off and on for nearly 40 minutes. I asked her later when she had recovered if she remembered anything at all during the times she was clinically dead. She remembered nothing. Blackness. No light. No relatives and former pets waiting for her. Just black. Thankfully. Also no pain. She finally passed 18 months ago. And I hope she felt no pain or worry the final time. Edit to add, it started with two spontaneous brain bleeds, technically. It started with her having lupus. The first brain bleed lead to her passing. But they did a craniotomy. Revived her. Then a re-bleed. The trauma from all that caused her lupus to set fire. Which lead to complete kidney failure and another cardiac arrest, passing and recovery. Which lead to two strokes. She recovered enough to be home and mostly independent. But having to go to dialysis three times a week for three years. She passed the final test to get on the kidney transplant list on Wednesday. And had a massive cardiac respiratory event at dialysis on Friday where she passed again but was kept alive on life support. I waited a week hoping for recovery. But we disconnected life support for her wishes, a topic we had talked about many times. Dot. Oh my GPD that literally described the tanks that the machines used in the Matrix. Oh fuck. Exclamation mark. Heavy breathing. Or a womb. Dot. Reincarnation. And now I know Kung Fu. Hum. You think that's air you're breathing? I don't know what I experienced while I was dead, but when I woke back up, so to speak, I remember wanting to experience it permanently. My heart also stopped after surgery three years ago. I only remember them getting me back and drifting between darkness and seeing the nurses panic. Like you mentioned, I felt nothing and was just an impartial observer. The aftermath was the worst. Realizing how close I was to oblivion and recalling the dissociation was horrifying. People often say, oh I'm not worried, she's a fighter, when someone gets very ill. But me? I feel like I was just ready to watch myself fade into the dark despite being content and having things to live for. Unsettling is exactly the right word. A friend of mine described death, she was technically dead twice, as being surrounded by darkness and floating with some sort of warm gel-like substance covering her. She never wanted to leave that state. Oh my GPD that literally described the tanks that the machines used in the Matrix. Oh fuck! Exclamation mark. I died twice after I got MRSA into my heart area after a major surgery. I don't remember much of anything when I was out cliché as it was I saw a light, but damn that year sucked. Understatement of the year LMAO. Yeah that year where I died sucked pretty bad. I died twice, that year sucked now. When I was 15 I was scheduled to do a tilt table test, they lean you up at an angle on a table, because I was consistently experiencing dizziness and fainting spells. After about 20 minutes the doctor tilted the table back and I could feel myself passing out. I got severe tunnel vision and lost like 95% of my eyesight. Like looking through a straw and then I blacked out. I remember hearing the doctor call the code and my father cussing at the doctor that he killed me. I remember hearing a lot of slamming and banging around. Which I assumed was the crash cart and nurses shoving into this small testing room. I felt a pressure on my chest. Like when you have someone stand on your back to crack it. Which I found out later was the nurses doing CPR. I saw an array of vivid colors kind of dancing around forming objects in the dark. The scariest thing was how peaceful it felt. Just pure 100% peace. No panic. No pain. No sadness. Nothing just bliss. I coded for just under two minutes and as soon as I came to and opened my eyes. 
I felt seriously angry and hostile. I started ripping off whatever I could get my hands on and yelling at the doctor to get me off the table. Edit I'm for spelling. And forgetting to mention my heart stopped because I had an undiagnosed heart problem, Wolf Parkinson White, that caused my heart to more or less misfire at numero 2 this blew up W-A-Y-Y more than I thought. I'm trying to respond to every comment I can. Feel free to PM me if you have any more questions or want more insight. Edit Trefidi I think I caught up with all the comments so I just wanted to say thanks to everyone that responded. Not really a big poster on Reddit. So this was amazing for me to be able to talk so many people that have dealt with and are still dealing with WPW or were curious about my story. Shoot me a PM if you have any more questions. Clinically dead on two separate occasions. I didn't experience any visions or light and I didn't feel anything at all. It was like a switch was flipped and my existence was just shut off. Coming back was another story. Slowly I was able to hear the voices of those around me fading in. And they slowly got louder until I was able to open my eyes. That's it. Nothing spectacular. One second you're here. One second you're not. Somewhat comforting. I'm scared of fading away. Not mine but the head of my program was in a horrible car accident. She was dead for a few minutes on the scene while paramedics worked on her. She said it was the most amazing feeling she's ever experienced. It was blank black nothing. But that was perfectly fine. And she felt a comfort she can't even explain. She remembers being angry at the man working on her when she finally came back to her body because she wanted to stay there. She told us she can't wait to experience it again when it's really her turn. Edit. I'm really pleased this resonated so strongly with so many of you. I wanted to add some detail about her. She's not religious in the slightest. And she actively quashes our ghost stories and shit, mortuary students because she only believes in tangible things. So she fully turned me into a believer. Felt it's important I make a distinction she was very adamant about when telling us this story she's not advocating suicide. She stressed that she isn't telling us she's trying to reach this place again but that when it was her time she was going to be comfortable embracing it. And when the darkness comes for me to take me where I'm meant to be, to guide me out beyond the black. Forever on. And never back, to lead me through the final door till all that is and was before is nothing more than dreams at night, I will not fret. I will not fight. Friend of mine described it as deeply relaxing and that she could feel herself drifting away but was brought back just as she was ready to leave. After that, she embraced life and death. She said she doesn't fear death anymore since it was so relaxing to experience. Understatement of the year LMAO. Yeah that year where I died sucked pretty bad. Usually when I die twice it's only that month that sucks pretty bad. The rest of the year is okay. Talk about a shitty respawn after the first death. My girlfriend is anaphylactic, and it is triggered by a chemical called salicylate, found in pretty much every food. When she was in high school she had her first big reaction. And the school nurses refused to administer her EpiPen adrenaline shot, until the ambulance got there. Now obviously, having an anaphylactic reaction doesn't give you a lot of waiting time. So by the time the ambulance got to her school she was in pretty bad shape and barely conscious. The paramedics immediately administered one of her EpiPens, called the nurses, fucking twats, and loaded her into the ambulance as her mother arrived. She continued to fade, so they gave her a direct injection of adrenaline this time. Still nothing, they give her a second direct injection of adrenaline and this time it hits her about 30 seconds later all at once. And her heart fails, she stops breathing, no pulse, nothing, dead to the world. For about 2 minutes and 46 seconds she was clinically dead. And the scariest thing is. She saw nothing. She tells me that when you are losing consciousness you can't tell the difference between waves of drowsiness and when your body actually shuts down. All she saw was the darkness of her eyelids. And it felt like going into an extremely calm sleep where she couldn't hear or feel anything. And she didn't mind it. All despite the fact her mother and the paramedics were screaming at her to keep her eyes open and the ambulance was flying towards the hospital. 
she miraculously just came back to life almost three minutes later as they were giving her chest compressions. And the cardiologist that assessed her later stated that all the adrenaline in her body was enough to not only stop her heart, but to also restart it with the little help from the paramedic pumping it around. But still do this day. She can't differentiate falling asleep after a long day. And dying. As someone who lost his younger brother four months ago to psychosis-induced suicide after years of painful and miserable addiction and anxiety and depression. Dot. Many of these comments give me more of a sense of peace that he just couldn't be here anymore and needed to go. L hope he felt okay in his final moments and wasn't in the constant pain he felt 24-7 here and in his mind. Serious tag or not I'm glad the majority of the comments seem genuine. Thank you. My sister killed herself in November of last year at the age of 15. My mother couldn't take the grief and killed herself a couple of weeks ago. I hope they are both at peace. Because they hated it here. No heaven. No hell. I hope it's just peace. This thread and stories like these give me hope. A deep slumber that feels euphoric. Seriously. I hate waking up after a good night's sleep. Just wanna stay there. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to support the channel, and above all, have an excellent day you incredible people.